that's worse. That makes it way creepy. That makes all, ah, it makes you scary. It has been a very long day and I came out to the barn to check on everyone. And I thought maybe you'd like to know too. Here's something strange. Squeakers and Reba. Not in the little pasture. They've come out to tell me something. I just don't know what it is. Babies, tell me. I don't, I don't know if it's like, hey, we're still hungry or hey, you're home, feed us again. I don't know. <laughs> Babies, what do you think? Look at, get Squeakers back there moving her lips without even making noise. I'm not just gonna stop. Ladies, what's wrong? Was it the food thing? You think that I'm, oh, it's food. Okay, well by all means. Let's get you some food. You're gonna disturb everybody though, I'm telling you. This is gonna cause a ruckus. This is gonna cause problems. It's 100% gonna cause problems. So, they have this little bit of a habit. Oh great, some boxes. They have a little bit of a habit of thinking that when I arrive home that they should have food. That's not the case. In general, they should be eating with everyone else. And they probably did. But now that I'm throwing worms out, the whole gang's gonna get up. And I know this is a bad idea, and I'm gonna be right back in this barn getting snacks for everyone because why not, Fireball? Why not? Yeah, today was a very long day. Hi, late. Wait a minute. Where are y'all going? What? I can't just feed you two. You're gonna wake everyone up. Listen, there's somebody in there moving now. I see Brady moving. Uh-oh, I hear pigs. This is exactly what they wanted. They wanted me. Wow. I know y'all can't see very much. I'm sure you can hear though. I'm gonna throw some worms. Hi, Jewel. Yowzer. Let's see if I can turn on the light. Oh, that's worse. That makes it way creepy. That makes all, ah, it makes you scary. Look, now we've woken everyone up. Ladies, is it something else? Did I misread this? Well, tell me all about it. Let's go. No? Okay. I threw out a whole scoop of worms. Now, y'all got out here without me opening the gate. So I'm... Well, yeah. That's what I thought. That's what it was. It was about food. They're like, uh, excuse me, Jake fed us tonight, and, um, he doesn't do it like you do. <laughs> Ladies, I'm sure that you got fed, and you're just playing games. I'm positive that you got plenty to eat tonight. You just walk right by all the worms that I threw up. You can see them right there. Thanks. Thanks, Brady, for slamming up against the gate. No one's hungry. But it's like, hey, mom's home, mom's home, mom's home. Let's eat again, mom's home. Let's see if we can play a prank on her. Listen, boy, this light makes everybody's eyes creepy. Look at Ringo over here. Ringo is on top of the hay, all snuggled in, eating with demon eyes. Not demon eyes, demon eyes. Like his eyeballs look demonic. And so do all the geese. This is terrible and scary, but you can't see them without me doing that. Oh, my, my, my. Grey Goose is over here by herself. I'm sure no one is surprised by that. Oh, that's better. Nope, it's not. Everybody, that's all you can see is demon eyes then. Boy, oh boy, my nighttime filming skills are not so good tonight because everybody looks terrifying. And Fireball 
as I'm saying it's terrifying and you're touching my leg, it's freaking me out even worse. It's bad. Brady, each time that you slam against the gate and it shakes my camera, it makes me think that there's a demon and it turns out that it's just you. Do you think that may maybe you could, oh, stretch it out. Stretch, show everyone your beautiful teeth. Show them all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I had a lot to do today. A ton of errands and it just got to be pretty late. Got stuck in traffic and well, yeah, it was long. We also know that it's really routine. So summertime, our animals get a lot of their nutrition from, from the earth. Don't get me wrong. They still need to be fed and there's minerals and all kinds of things that go into their food. But we also know that the big part of it is a social event. And it's just as much as a social event for them as it is for us. So, yeah, the, uh, the traffic thing, someone was getting a modular home and uh, it overturned on its side, which blocked traffic for mm, two hours. <laughs> so our, I had every intention of being home, but it didn't work out. And Lester and I did get a lot of accomplished today. We had a lot of errands to run. I had to pick up um, worming medicine, deworming medicine for the goats. That's on the agenda tomorrow. Um, I also had to pick up blades for the alpacas and there were a lot of places that did not have them. So going from store to store to, oh God, you guys are scary. Store to store to try to get them. It just got a little bit, it got a little bit hectic today. More hectic than intended. Still, we're ready for tomorrow's projects and we got a lot accomplished here before we ever left this morning or actually this afternoon. So, all is well. My poor little Jewel, she is so frazzled. She is, she's being tormented by Bill the duck and she mostly sits in the corner. It's breeding season and for whatever reason, they're the only two peeking ducks and Bill really likes Jewel. I'll just say that. Gosh, you guys, you think that you could be sweeter? That's Peggy Pig. She does live here and have a right to walk through. You're not like the Billy Goat's gruff and making people pay tolls to cross your bridge. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, Jester. Reba. Please be sweet. I gave you worms that no one's eating because guess what? It's late. It's after dark. Nobody really likes to eat after dark. The chickens certainly roost. And Marsha. I know. Everybody's supposed to be laid up and in bed. I don't know what else y'all are telling me. I don't know what else I can do for you. <laughs> I really don't. Goose? Why are you looking at me like that? Mav? You have a mean, mean look on your face tonight. You do, baby. Stop being so angry. Look at Goose over here flapping. Oh, Goose is about to get big. Those goats are running around. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk away. Y'all can eat the worms tonight or you can eat them tomorrow. It's not going to rain. And we're done here. My gosh, why are you all being so mean? <sighs> Even Kelly Clarkson. Okay. I'm done rambling for now. Okay. I'm going to go in the house and I'm just, I'm good for the night. I've checked on everyone else. I will probably take a little walk over here to the barn to see what else is going on. But you guys are good now. Okay. Let's go see who's over here before I go in. Bill? Yes. I was talking about you and your naughtiness. You think you could leave Jewel alone for just like, I don't know, a day? Give her a break already. Okay. Janet Jackson, Blondie. All right, who we got? Copper's in the barn? What's Copper doing in the barn? Well, that's why all the pigs are out and the geese are telling me that the pigs are out. That's what's really going on. So Copper has taken over the entire barn, all of it, every single inch of it. Even though he only needs about, you know, a four by six area, he's ran everybody else out, which has led to this problem. Okay, things are making more sense now, that is for sure.